Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, as you can see, 156 on the scale this morning, the very last morning of my crash diet experiment. So um, if we're just going based on trends, my lowest was 154. My highest was the very first day at 162, and today I'm at 156. So that's about a difference of um, from today to day one, about 8.6, 8.8 pounds. Obviously, not all that is fat, not all that is muscle. Is there, there's a definitely some, um, there's definitely some water in there as well, but there probably is some fat. There probably is some muscle that was lost. Um, day 14, very last day. I, I, I feel all right. You know, it was a little bit difficult getting up this morning. Um, energy, food, food cravings have been extremely intense the past few days. Uh, really, really craving fatty foods, really craving salty foods, um, definitely craving like sweeter things as well. Um, as it as things have kind of progressed and as the days have gone on, I've noticed that trying to stick to the 1500 calories has gotten more and more difficult from kind of like a psychological standpoint. Part of the reason is because you just have to spend so much time like prepping food. Um, I, I normally like make a decent amount of food, but I have to spend so much time like calculating stuff, throwing it into my fitness pile because 1500 calories is, uh, such kind of a tight number. You don't really have any flex room that you really have to be diligent in tracking your food and you have to be spot on. And the difference between, you know, like three and four ounces of sweet potatoes really matters when you only have 1500 calories. So that's kind of worn on me a little bit. Um, I'm going to end up doing a video that's going to be all about kind of like my wrap up and what I learned. So I'll explain a lot more of that stuff in there. Um, I have an early morning meeting with a client, so I'm going to get ready and then head. Hey, what's up folks? How's it, how's it going? I'm sure that you guys are probably wondering a little bit as to where my food log is for the day, seeing as this is day 14 and the very last day of my crash diet experiment. Um, the truth be told, I actually didn't bring any food with me today. I was completely unprepared. I had to meet a client much earlier than I typically head into my office. So in doing so, um, I didn't have the time to prepare my lunch today, and then I had another client shortly thereafter who I also met with for a long period of time, and I realized that I actually had a number of errands that I have to get done before I leave to go to Chicago on Friday. So uh, once I finished up with my clients, I actually came home and went out to go run errands. While I was out, I actually, um, there just wasn't anything to eat really, so I, while I was out, I... Uh, didn't bring anything with me, didn't have any food. Um, while I was at Costco, I grabbed a few small samples. They had some cubed ham that was delicious. Um, they had these little itty bitty squares of cheesecake, so I had half of one of those. And given this isn't nutrient dense, this isn't good food, uh, I just got caught totally unprepared, got caught starving. On my way home, I had to stop at the grocery store. They were sampling uh, pulled pork there, so I had a little bit of pulled pork, and then they had some mashed potatoes, so I had a little sample cup with that on top of it. So up until this point, all I've really had is kind of more snacky foods. Uh, none of them have been phenomenal, high quality foods. It's just kind of how I got caught today. Um, I would have preferred that today was a phenomenal wrap up and that I had everything all kind of calorie calculated for you guys. Uh, just isn't the way it kind of worked out. So essentially here in a little bit, I'm gonna leave to go to the gym to go lift. Shortly after that, I'm going to go, uh, I'm gonna coach Thai boxing. And then when I come home tonight, I'm gonna make dinner. So. When I have dinner tonight, I will show you guys what I'm having. Um, I wish that day 14 was a much more exciting wrap up for everybody. Uh, I just kind of got caught with, uh, kind of got caught unprepared today. I was planning on actually coming back and making lunch and showing you guys exactly what I'm gonna have, but it just didn't work out that way today. I ended up kind of doing it a little bit of an unintentional fast until way later in the afternoon, and then I grabbed some, uh, you know, snacky foods out that were samples and things like that. And it's not not the best plan ever. Um, I just ended up totally unprepared and that's kind of real life and that's what happens sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I have going on. When I get back, I will be making a dinner for tonight. I have a loose idea of how many calories I've had throughout the day, you know, so with the coffee today, I probably have had about 80 calories worth of cream. Um, with the pulled pork, I probably, I'd say, had 150 calories worth of that. Um, with the mashed potatoes, I would say that that was probably about like 75 and then with a the little tiny cheesecake thing when I looked on the package at the sample table it was like you know 50 for a square and I had a half of one of the squares cut in half so that's I'll just call that 50 calories just call it a whole one um, and so that right there add that up and you have kind of what I'm at for the day when I come home tonight I'm probably just gonna have a big salad lots of spinach ground turkey probably some of that green dragon sauce and nothing too exciting on top of it so 
Uh, I'm gonna play it safe, make sure that my last day I'm 100% underneath the 1500 calories after my training. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Take care. One last thing to mention too, um, I did actually have a protein bar. So while I was out driving around, I luckily had a protein bar in my car. So I grabbed one of those and munched on that. So that's another 190 calories on top of everything thing left. So I'm just gonna come home and have a really nice uh, low calorie salad and call that a day. And uh, in the coming in the coming weeks uh, or in the coming week, next few days, I'm going to be making a, a video wrap up for you guys about everything that happened. So take care and I'll talk to you soon. All right, folks, long day, lots going on. Very last day of the crash diet experiment, very last meal. So I just got back from doing a little bit of lifting and then also coaching Thai boxing at my gym. This is going to be the very last meal and the very last video of my 14 day crash diet experiment. Um, I was planning on doing it a little bit longer. However, I wanted to have enough time to write a good um, kind of synopsis of everything that I learned from doing this and to deliver it to everybody in time. And then also on top of that, I wanted to have a few days worth of regular eating underneath my belt before I went out to go visit my family for Christmas. So my very last meal for the night and for this crash diet experiment is gonna be a little bit different than typically. So it's another salad. Uh, I have about 56 grams of spinach in there. I have a half of a small gala apple. I have um, about, I think, 28 grams of sugar snap peas. And then I have three ounces of 99% fat free turkey with uh, green dragon sauce and some mustard over the top. So I'm gonna sit down, enjoy this meal and edit a post that I have that's gonna be all about what I learned from this experiment. So from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you guys for watching these, for following along with this. Um, it hasn't been an easy process for me to be honest, that this whole dieting thing is very new to me. So I just wanna thank you guys for your attention because I know that that's the most valuable resource that we all have. Stay tuned, um, in 2017, I'm gonna be doing something pretty big uh, that I will let you guys know more about as it gets closer. So take care and I will talk to you soon.